Let's go through the process now of bringing in a raster image into AutoCAD. So this is in a situation where you would be taking a drawing that you've made and what we'll do is go to the Insert tab up here on the ribbon and we're going to attach an image. We'll find this. This is the West Court plan that you have on Moodle and simply select Open. So here's our file. We're going to specify on screen the insertion point. And we just simply click and drag to set up an initial size for this image. So you can see this is our raster that we have. And if you scroll, we can zoom in or scroll back out and zoom out. And if you press down the center mouse button, you can pan about. So, the first thing that we want to see is the distance that is currently represented on the screen. Let's drag this over a little. And if we add 12 plus 12 plus 8, we have a distance of 32 feet here. So in AutoCAD, if we type in the word DIST, that allows us to measure a distance. And let's turn our snap off for the moment. And if we just simply click at the beginning here and then come to the end of this line, we have a distance here of 10.64 feet. So that's obviously not 32. What we want to do is set this so that it is exactly 32 feet. So to do that, we can type in the scale command or up under modify. This is the icon for scale. We can just simply click on that. And to scale objects, it first wants us to select an object. So we're going to select the object to scale and hit return. We then need to specify a base point, which can just be the corner of our object. And then we want to type in R because we're going to reference a distance on the screen. And that distance is going to be from this beginning point to the end point here. And we want this distance to be equal to 32 units. So we hit return. And you can see that this drawing has scaled up. And if we use our distance command again, DIST, and click, and come to the end here, you can see that our distance is pretty darn close, 31.85. So we're right in the ballpark. Again, this is a hand-drawn sketch. So um, it's not going to be absolutely precise. However, as we trace this into AutoCAD, we are going to make it into a precise final drawing.